Hello, this video is over market share in the business strategy game. I'm your professor, Dr. Stephen Haggard. So let's talk about market share. Lots of our marketing friends think that market share is the end-all be-all. But we, as finance types, know that the goal of financial management is to maximize shareholder wealth. You can actually pursue market share in ways that destroy the value of the firm. For example, if you lower the price, you can always sell more, but you might be doing so in a way that will reduce the profitability of the firm and reduce the value of the firm. And so chasing market share in and of itself is not a good goal. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. How can you use this tendency of your fellow man to uh, your advantage in the business strategy game. So we, here we have an example of what I call a knife fight in a phone booth, especially in the wholesale segment here. We have four teams and they've all basically put themselves in similar territory. Now I have seen it worse than this before, but this is still a pretty bad case. Basically these people are fighting over a very small patch of the space that's available when in fact they would be better off if they were to, or at least one of them, were to go somewhere else and try to do something different. So here we have an example of a team that did that. They pulled away from the pack, Team A, and found an area all their own. Now you look at this and you say, wait a minute, Team A doesn't look all that successful. Look at that small market share that Team A has, certainly. Team A finished, must have finished third, simply because their market share is so small. Only Team D would be behind them. But in fact, that's not the case. Team A was second place after Team B. And so they actually came in ahead of Team C, whose market share was much greater than theirs. Because once again, it's all about creating shareholder wealth and not about creating market share. So let's talk once more about finding your own space. Uh, let's, I'll give an example here. Let's talk about the market for comedians. Let's say that comedians B, C, and D are all working blue. If you don't know what this means, it means they're telling dirty jokes and using foul language. Now, that is the overwhelming majority of comedians. Now, what if you decided to be a clean comedian? You could have that market space very much to yourself because there just aren't that many clean comedians. And so A here could be a clean comedian who has chosen to work clean and pull a different audience than teams B, D, and C. Teams B, D, and C would all be fighting over the same audience. Another way to think about this is something that General Douglas MacArthur once said. He said, hit them where they ain't. Now what does that mean? If I'm going to invade an island, do I want to invade the portion that is most heavily populated by my enemy? No, I want to invade the part of the island that is the least populated by my enemy, so I can get a foothold there and then eventually drive the enemy off the island, hit them where they ain't. And so find your own space, come up with your own strategy, and execute it well. Now one thing that I've seen before is that if students see a team in off by themselves doing well, everyone will try to move toward that same space because they assume that space is somehow magical and just magically grows uh, successful companies. That's not true. As soon as everybody crowds into that space, it's no longer desirable. It's like these campgrounds at our national parks. People used to go to these campgrounds to get away from the human race, but now everybody wants to do that, and so the campgrounds are overcrowded, and so you can no longer go there to get away from the human race. Finally, what do I always say at the end of these lessons? You need to read the flippin' player's guide. Folks, there are so many good things in the player's guide, and oftentimes when a team is giving a presentation talking about 
what they did correctly in the game, someone raises their hand, raises their hand and says, to what would you give the most credit for your victory? And they said, we read the player's guide. Now, is that because the player's guide gives you special magical insights into the inner workings of the game? No, the player's guide is actually full of a great deal of business wisdom. And if you learn that business wisdom and apply it to your work in the business strategy game, you'll do better. And further, when you get out into the world of business, if you will apply that business wisdom there, you will also do better. So let me repeat it one more time, just in case you didn't hear. Read the flippin' player's guide.